Hello. Hi. Live once again. Yes. I hope you guys are having a good day, ready to drink a beer, or if not, you're ready to explore a beer that we talk about. With us. Oh, let's tag William in. Yeah. Boop. All right, you're tagged. I'm tagged in. Uh. All right, so what do we got today, Chris? Well, this is a company that I don't think we've tried before. I've seen this, this can here and there. Um, this is Cascade Lakes Brewing Company from Redmond, uh, Oregon, though. Um, pretty cool. There's a little, it's called Hop Smack IPA. This is what the can looks like. Turn it the right way. Yeah, there's a little tattoos of the Hop Smack on there and a whole bunch of hop plants all over the top. Jeffrey's, or Jeff, Jeff is watching. Hey, thanks for watching. So this guy, so this is an India Pale Ale, and um, this, let's see, the alcohol by volume is 6.4%. The IBU, it says, I think that's, is that 82? Is that for real? <laughs> IBU, yeah, 82. <laughs> uh, the original gravity is 1.064, <laughs> and the final gravity is 1.015. So... That sounds pretty good, like it's gonna be kind of thick. Yeah, or heavy that's, mouthfeel. that's a, it doesn't seem like they put a whole lot into it, but... So it says, this striking Citra Hop IPA brings complex tropical and citrus aromas to the palate with great head retention, with great head retention and, and clarity. This well-balanced yet aggressive India Pale Ale makes this a great choice for the hop lover in all of us. Cheers! Cheers. Yeah, we definitely like hoppy beer. D don't necessarily like bitter beer, but we like hoppy beer. Jeff says, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds I like really a hop smack. So you already read the... Yeah, what that one is. Okay. So yeah, 6.4% alcohol by volume. So hey, we're not messing around here. No. Pretty good, pretty good. Like, it sounds really familiar. Oh, Redmond, Oregon, huh? Yeah. So it's not... Uh, we live in Washington, so it's not um, uh, right, you know, in, in, in the... It's Northwest. About, it's like a three, four hour drive yeah. from there, so. So it's well, probably. At least, at least uh, uh, blah, 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 Portland, Oregon yeah. is, I don't know about where so, so it's, it's probably somewhat fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Recent. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, 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 right. yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and pop it open and try it. Enough reading. Yeah. Oh, it kind of spewed everywhere. Is there a thing on my glass? I don't think my glass is clean. No, it was clean over there, and it was clean up there. <laughs> the other one. All right. Yeah, just to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's very clear. Nice. Actually, it does Long have a haze to looking. it. Yeah. So I take that back. It's not clear. It's hazy. Oh. Uh, it could be. It could be frost haze. But yeah, the chill haze. Mm -hmm. I didn't really. I didn't pour very aggressive this time. So. Yeah, it's got a nice color to it. Look at the light shining yeah. through it on the on what oh, we yeah. on our preview. That looks nice. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I didn't pour very aggressively, so I didn't get very much head. Yeah. I, I could have. Uh, we've been fooled by that before, and then the head goes all over the place, and so yeah. we sometimes are just more careful. But so it says it's, it says it's supposed to retain the head, though, right? Yeah, it should be. And we, but we're going to cheat a little bit. And these glasses have a laser etch in the bottom, and it's going to help retain head. Yeah, that too. It, that it, also. It, it, it it makes bubbles happen like all the time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, very very pretty looking. Oh, smells I, very hoppy. I don't think they dry hopped it, but I I, I get some hops from it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, citrusy. So I can smell the citrusy a little bit. It's not um. Since, yeah, like I said, since they didn't dry hop it, it's yeah. not, aroma is not going crazy yeah. out of well, there. As far as we know, I mean, who knows what they they did to right. They might have dry hopped it, but the IBU is 82, so. It'll be in the flavor. <laughs> yeah, there's, this, they probably used a lot to have it. Yeah. All right. Well. Not much left to try now. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Very citrusy. The bitterness is kind of there. Wow, I was, I was expecting really a whole lot of that eighty-two to yeah. be like screaming. Yeah. Hey, Zeus, watching. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Zeus. 
<laughs> Excuse me. How's that Resident Evil's going? <laughs> Resident Evil's game's making me mad. <laughs> well, anyways, back to the beer. Okay, so what I got from this beer is that it had um, a thick mouth feel. Like, uh, it does, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, like, it, uh, there's something that kind of coats your tongue for a little while. Um, uh, it's not dry. It, uh, I do get a mild citrus flavor. I gotta now. I forgot some stuff, so I need to take another drink. <laughs> well, the citrus. I think the citrus flavor get? is really up there. It's. It is definitely a citrusy beer. Citrus, citrus, citrusy, citrusy, citrusy. Citrus, citrus, do, do you get a malt? In the, malt like, Jessica's watching. Hey, just kind of a malt, almost yes. a sweetness. Almost, yeah. It is. It is kind it's of there sweet. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well balanced. It's, yeah, I'm in it. But aggressive. That, yeah, yeah. I have to agree with their with the little comments there. I'm not so much of a beer connoisseur. I can like write that stuff down, like what I'm all tasting. But I could definitely agree yeah. with what so they're saying. So I, I I kind of half expected it to to smell more aromatic. Um, it's not bad, but uh, there is some. You know, you can you can smell that it's like clean water, a little bit of hops there. Uh, it it doesn't it tastes. I guess the taste is similar to what you smell because it's not a strong smell and it's not a strong taste. Yeah. Um, th th it does have the citrus mm -hmm. aroma and the citrus taste to it. Though. But I think it does have a nice <clears throat> balance between the, the malts and the hops. Mm -hmm. Jess says, hey guys. Hi. Hey. Because um, I, I can taste a little bit of the sweetness of the, of yeah. the malts inside of it. Yeah. But the hops is really there. I mean, it's there. Yeah. You can definitely taste uh, the hoppiness of it. Kind of bitter. I don't, don't get any. Though. I don't get any pine. No, no pine. Just nice citrus. Yeah. Uh, so they probably use Cascade hops. Yeah, probably. I can, I can, I'm gonna and, and and of course Citra to get the citrus mm -hmm. um, stuff. All right. So now let's try it with. Uh, yeah, let's do a pretzel first. We we do the pretzel and we have peanut. So our theory is, if you're new to the show, is that if you um, reset your taste buds, like say with a pretzel. So, or, or, you know, while well, we like the salty snack. That, that is a theory that then when you take another taste, you're gonna taste some more things that you might not have got the first time. There you go. And we noticed that pretzel and peanut bring out different things in the beer. So we're gonna try both. Uh, Philip, I think that's Philip. Is watching? watching? Hey. Thanks for watching us, Philip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it is Philip. Philip Carter. Yeah. Okay. Grains, Turo, Cristal, and Munich. I think that's what I can taste. Is that uh, the Munich grains? There's Cascade thing there? Um, hops is Centennial, Citra, and Liber uh, Li okay. Liberty. Centennial, huh? Mm hmm. Okay, that's what it is. So, I was wrong. So, definitely the Citra is uh, giving us that. Mm -hmm. That uh, tropical yeah. notes. And I think it's the Munich uh, malts or oats that I'm tasting. Yeah, Munich is a real, mm -hmm. real popular. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let me get it. One more. I chewed on this side of the mouth, but not that side of the mouth. <laughs> so I gotta get some, some bread on that side of the mouth. I, I do that too. That's but mm -hmm. that's because I've got a jacked tooth over here. Mm -hmm. Don't want to put pressure on. It. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I got more bitterness from it this time. Maybe because my palate was, was cleaned. Yeah, it's like the hop taste went away and it was just a bitter taste to it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, RE2 is awesome. It's been waiting, uh, waiting a long time. I know. He's been waiting 20 years for the remake. <laughs> Even though he's 19 years old. Resident Evil, something like that. I've waited more than all my life. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Resident so, Evil Two remake. Okay. So, so the pretzel did some some difference. Yeah. So if you I, wanted to bring out the bitter, um, eat yeah, pretzel. yeah, well, like get rid of the hops, but bring the bitter. That's kind of weird. But yeah, because sometimes when we have a pretzel, it actually brings out the maltiness in a beer mm -hmm. and kind of cuts this the the bitter. Maybe that's what we're tasting is the malt. It just town. It just tastes kind of bittery. Yeah. But that be. doesn't really make sense. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's probably the truth though. Science is hard. Okay. <laughs> Science is hard. We got a new, a new uh, Amanda. Uh, Amanda. All right. Thanks for watching. We are doing Hop Smack IPA by Cascade Lakes Brewing Company. Yeah. So this is um. Mm -hmm. So we live in Washington. This is from Oregon. Oregon. 
So, so far, it has a really nice taste. It's yeah. definitely a good IPA, I oh, think. Yeah. Uh, IPA fan, or I, people that like IPAs, I think yes. they would enjoy this. Now, if you're so. an IPA, kind of new to IPA, and you, and, you, and you learned about the IBUs, the IBUs on this is a high number, but don't be scared. Don't, yeah. Don't be afraid of this one. It's not very bitter. Yeah. Mm. It is definitely more bitter than most IPAs, but it's not bad. But that being said, it's still not bitter. It's it terrible? Yeah. Thank you. Hoppy, not yeah. bitter. Yeah. But I mean, mm. but we learned that uh, high IBU, yeah. uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird. Uh, there, there could be a lot of hops in a beer and it won't be bitter. This one, actually, the, <laughs> the IBU is a high number, but it's not very bitter. I think it's because you're right, they balanced it. Mm. So there's a, a nice balance between the malts, which are sweet, and the bitterness that they did add. And so it doesn't, it kind of cancels each other out, I guess. Mm -hmm. They still have to put the number in because math. Mm -hmm. Okay. Science is math. Mm -hmm. Math is science. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds intelligent. Okay. <laughs> now, sometimes when we have some peanuts, that'll uh, that'll bring out something different about the beer. Yeah. Um, not all the time, but sometimes it does. As he says, 20 years, pretty much. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing when he was two. Yeah. Guy. Mm -hmm. Evil. Uh, from Pat resident. Uh, Patrick is watching. All right, thanks for watching, Patrick. Patrick. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Taste buds have been salted. Let's do this. Okay, that kind of did the same thing as the pretzel did. I get more. Ooh, actually, background bitterness. I can taste. I can taste those uh, malts in it now. Mm -hmm. A little sweetness. Yeah. The mouthfeel is still heavy. It kind of coats your tongue, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. I kind of like a beer that does that. Sometimes, though, I, I'm, I appreciate a beer that's just dry. It's like it just makes you want to just keep drinking. Mm -hmm. But this is nice. It does have a really nice mouthfeel to it. Mm -hmm. Makes me know I'm drinking something. 6.4 alcohol, 6.4% alcohol by volume. And what we'd say the IBU was 82. 82. Like I said, that sounds like a high number. I think the highest you can go is. Uh, well, they can put more than 100, but you can't taste anything more than 100. Interesting. And so We had one that was technically 102 or something like that. Remember, it was uh, Goddard Stone Goddardamerung. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Bill Hempel helped us with it. <coughs> That's right. He walked us through it because we were afraid. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> so I guess the gravity makes sense now. They only put uh, three grains and three hops inside of it. So the original gravity, final gravity, I guess. That stuff is still science mm -hmm. to me. It makes sense when somebody knows about it, explains it. It's like, yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah. And then it's my turn to explain it. Can't do it. Because like, the stuff, <laughs> when the stuff's in there, and then we got, you got to take the stuff out, it gets stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the best so, I can do. Yeah, it was this heavy, <laughs> then we put stuff in it, it was more heavy, and then we took stuff out of it, and now it's what's left over is this heavy. This heavy. Yeah. Something like that. That's it. Cool. All right. All right. So I'm going to take uh, one more big gulp out yeah. of it. Then we'll, then we'll down them. Because there's a theory that uh, sometimes these beers taste different when there's a whole bunch of it over, a whole bunch of it over the taste buds at mm -hmm. once. All right. Get the mouth cleaned out of all the uh, the foods that I just ate. Ooh, I'm gonna agitate my beer. Oh yeah. Make it angry. I like my beer mad. You're not pretty, you're ugly. <laughs> you suck at math. <laughs> And you don't have a lumpy head. Yeah. Oh, it does have a little bit of a lumpy head. Oh, yeah, when you agitate it, it looks pretty yeah. good. A little bit. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. Ready for this? <sighs> Down the hola. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Neck them. Ooh, very sweet. This time I got more um, citra and sweet. Yeah. Less bitter. Yeah, less bitter. Oh. That seems to be a really common theme for yeah. most um, IPAs that we down. It's there. There is no. There is basically no bitter to it when you slam it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would recommend that. Mm -hmm. There is at the very end a little bit yeah, of hands on the bit. tongue, but, but I was left yeah. with kind of a satisfying um, uh, citra sweet taste. Um, when I just sip it, I get the the, the, the heavy mouthfeel and the and a little bit of the bitter. But when I slammed it, not so much. I got yeah. more. I got more sweetness. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. William. 
what do you think about this beer? Wow, that's what I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm eating something. I don't mean to talk with my mouth chew, full. Chew, 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 chew. <laughs> but the initial pour of it and the look of it, very pretty. I guess that would be your typical color of IPA. Yeah. It's kind of blondish. I mean, I've seen some that are a little bit more amberish looking, mm -hmm. but nice. Right, right. <laughs> but it still has a pretty color to it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was just a, a chill haze. Yeah, um, it's pretty if we, Yeah, if we warmed it up, it probably wouldn't be very hazy. It would just yeah. be kind of clearish. Yeah. Um, I wish I gave it more head to see what the head looked like, but once you agitated it, it was yeah. a nice kind of like uh, whitish. Very... Beer tastes better when it's mad. White color. Lacing on it looks nice. Oh, it does have some lacing. Yeah, so lacing is pretty nice. So that's to be expected though. It is, what, 6.4? Yeah, you can see all of the times that I took a drink. Ding, yeah, 6.4. Ding, ding, yeah. ding. Right, so, there's a big gulp right there. So that's pretty right cool. right there to there. It's mm -hmm. like, bam. Has a really nice smell to it. Very citrusy, mm -hmm. um, hoppy smell, even though they only used three hops. Yeah. It still had that nice hop smell. That's and, why it didn't smell that strong. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not like most of uh, most of them. They have the finishing hops that really yeah. give it that yeah. mm, beautiful smell. And so don't be afraid yeah. of that. When you um, crack open a beer and you smell a whole lot of hops mm -hmm. and you've had a, a bitter beer before, instantly your mind's going to go, I ain't drinking that because that means bitter. So yeah. it doesn't always mean that. No. Sometimes they, they finish dry hopping mm -hmm. and it just has a smell, not the taste. And I like the, well, a little bit of taste of hops isn't mm -hmm. bitter. That's, that's the other thing. We, we talked about that just, uh, on another the, video. The difference that, between that, being bitter and being hoppy. Yeah, tasting uh, hops doesn't mean bitter, but they mm -hmm. can extract bitterness from the hops and yep. make your beer bitter. Yep. That's a different process. Yeah. Um, the taste of it, very tasty. It's citrusy. Um, like I mentioned before in the previous episodes, I'm getting kind of burnt out of citrus. But I think that's <coughs> because or of the hops that we have. Citra. Yeah. Citra so, hops. But I, it's still an enjoyable taste. And I'm gonna have to give this beer uh, a thumbs up. Whoa! Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up. That big enthusiast on it. You know, it's not. I'm not shouting rooftops, but I still enjoyed it, and it's still a good beer. I enjoyed it, so I give it a thumbs up. All I right. will drink this beer again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. Ditto. Show's over. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> 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 that was easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but but pretty pretty much what you said. <laughs> pretty much what I said. Yeah. So I I, I think it's pretty pretty good. I I, I was I was thinking when I when I seen the hop smack and the you know the the tattoos on the knuckles and everything, I was like, mm -hmm. man, they they really want this. Like, too. Whack, 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 yeah, they whack, they want to punch whack, me in the face with hops yeah. on this one. Um, <laughs> what is the alcohol volume? It is six point four percent alcohol by volume. Good question. The IBU is eighty two. I know, right? So it. It's, it, so it might have a little bit of bitterness to it, yeah. but it's not that bad. It's but not as bad as most. We, we, William and I, we really care less for how bitter a beer can be. Mm. Um, I like I like some bitter. Like I, I mm. guess my my tongue is for hey, if it's too sweet, it's going to be kind of boring. I want a little bit of bitterness to it, and yeah. I think this one provides about the max that I could take. Uh, well, no, I could take more bitter, but uh, yeah. this, this to, to be fun. And yes. and drinkable to, to want to drink it again. They they yeah. they did it right. Yeah, and I think, um, yeah, I think what they said when they balanced it. Really yeah, did. it's really balanced. Really nice balance. So it's got a nice aroma. Um, it's got a nice taste. Uh, alcohol by volume was a six point four eighty two for bitter, and you know what? It was very pleasing. I liked it. Yeah, it was pretty good beer. So I gave it a thumbs up. Woo! Thumbs up. So if you see the hop smack, don't be a fair a feared of it. It's yeah. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, uh, this one uh, was about nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, so about average. Yeah, yeah. Handmade. What? Yeah, it says handmade. So it does say that. Here, let me. Oh. You guys get to see that too. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Right there. Yep. Handmade. Handmade. So probably there's probably a lot of people in the process of making it. Then it's not like uh, just a bunch of machinery. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> you know, just moving all like they, you just got one guy. Yeah. Pour it in the hops and <laughs> pour it in the malts. Yeah. It's probably like everybody's, just, you know, hands on on doing it. We got it. Lori um, Maynard. Maynard. All right. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Yes. We're just, we're, we're actually just wrapping, wrapping this up. up. But when we're done here, rewind it and watch the beginning. <laughs> um, so I, I think this beer was, uh, so it kind of screamed at me because of the uh, the look of it. Kind of has that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that. Uh, California style with the you know thing going on there, <laughs> um, so uh, and but this is Cas Oregon. Cascade Lakes 
uh, brewing company in uh, in Oregon, and uh, it, it, like I said, it was it was nine dollars ninety nine cents, so ten dollars for the six pack. So it, it's a, it's a decent decent price. I pay this uh, uh, again and again. I really like it. I think this would be a good one on a on a hot summer day where you want that citra yeah. flavor because yeah. yeah. uh, you know a little bit of that citra. Yeah, because I'm like saying I'm burning out of citra, but I bet you during summertime this is all I'm going to want to drink. Yeah, it's nice citrusy flavored uh -huh. beers. <clears throat> it's weird. Because, well. I used to just want it was, the no. coldest the better. So like, yeah. for instance, like when we were out there doing some yard work in the summertime, trying to do weeding because we got a great big yard out there, kind yeah. of the Japanese style. So, or, or, or build a, something out there. Yeah. We want to come in as like, what's, what's super cold and what's super good. And so if we ended up buying something like Coors Light or something like that. You know what? If we had a six pack of this, it would quench our thirst right away. But we get that taste. And we, we get, get a good taste. the taste that we want yeah. out of yeah. it. Yeah. This would be better. Yeah. <laughs> So, hey, yeah. that's a good uh, one for you guys. If all you know is Coors Light, Budweiser, and stuff like that, um, move out of your comfort zone. Try this. I think you would really like it. Yeah. Ah, that, that'd be really good. Yeah. That, that'd be a good Which way is, to... It's still good beer. It's, uh, all beers are good beers. Yes. It just depends on your threshold for which beers you like. Like us, our go-to beer is Henry Weinhardt's. Nice, relaxing. It, great tasting beer. It's so. just a very basic, yeah. you know, nothing yeah. wrong with it, nothing great yeah. about it. It's, yeah. it's, a inexpensive. it's just, yeah, inexpensive, mm -hmm. big, big thing. We can get 18 of them for eight bucks, eight nine bucks, bucks, nine yeah. bucks. So, <laughs> yeah, but uh, pretty awesome. So, thanks for watching. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so we do this on Saturdays at three o'clock, unless you want us to change it, but I like three o'clock. Yeah, on Wednesdays, we do it at four o'clock because. I know that most of America gets off at 3.30. Not all of Americans get off at 3.30, but most Americans get off at 3.30, so we do ours at 4. So you can come home, watch us, relax a little see bit, see what it is we're drinking, see if that is that's something on that you like. Tube things. Yeah. Yeah. So See if it's something that you've already drinking before. Maybe you guys have already drinking this before. And see what we thought about it. See what we it. thought. Yeah. And put your comments in. It's yeah. like, I thought the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Or, no, that beer was disgusting. I didn't <laughs> like it. You know. <laughs> I keep that one a thumbs down. Yeah. Thumbs down. I kicked it out of my house. I keep that one three thumbs yeah. down, even though I only have two thumbs. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so until next time, which is good. Well, we got a couple of videos that are uh, that we recorded uh, uh, differently. Uh, you know, wasn't live. No. Nope. And we're going to be placing them in and putting them on Facebook for you guys to watch. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a YouTube channel. So that's www.youtube.com forward slash H-A-E-S-T-R-O-M and the number one, boom. And you, we got lots of playlists, so enjoy. But one of them is give it a shot. So you can see what we've done all the way to uh, from like years. six years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a while ago when we started. So, so anyways. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us. We love it when you guys uh, uh, interact with us. Come in, chime on. Yeah, that's awesome. Put a little message in there. I love it. It's I try and read. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I love I try it. And it's read. so cool. Mm -hmm. Look at we got some more people watching. So uh, we, we appreciate you. Rewind it. Watch it again. And share this amongst your friends. And we love you. And we'll see you next time. Later. You got it? Yeah. <laughs>